Okay, thank you so much for uh, being here. I hope you enjoyed your meal. <laughs> And also, I would like to thank uh, Isaiah Barsenilla for the presentation that she gave uh, in the morning. It was uh, extremely interesting. And I'm also very happy about this combination of Isaiah's presentation and the Lungomare's presentation. Because the, I think that there are many, many points in, uh, in common that uh, hopefully we can uh, further develop uh, together. So I would like to thank uh, both uh, Lisa Mazza and uh, Daniele Lupo. They are members of Lungomare Bolzano. Uh, which is an organization that started in 2003. And so today we will discover more about their activity, their program, and how they are trying to respond to this very specific context, which is uh, uh, Bolzano, which is on the opposite side of, side of the country. But I think we have some uh, <laughs> common <laughs> issues that, uh, I mean, are connecting us. So thank you so much. Well, thank you. Um, Anna and Viviana for, for inviting us. Um, we were planning to have this presentation, hold this presentation in Italian first, <coughs> and we switched then yesterday or the day before into English because we knew that uh, the, all the participants of the, the workshop were, were also here, so excuse us if there's maybe still some things hidden in Italian in the presentation or if... Um, we're lacking some of the words. We, we <laughs> um, I would, what we want to try to do today, I mean this afternoon, is um, first of all we would like really to keep it as informal as possible. So please, whenever you feel like going more into something, um, ask or if you have some questions or remarks. And we would like to start off giving, well first a brief picture of actually where Lungomare is located at, in the middle of the mountains, and not at the sea, as the name would uh, suggest, and explain briefly the, the, um, some of the, the projects that have been done, uh, like give a panorama of the projects that have been done by Lungomare in the last years, and then go deeper into two projects, one which is my very much related to this morning session on the common, which is actually, yeah, based on the commons, and Daniele will talk more about that. And I will talk about the project which I co-curated with uh, Daniele Lupo and Angelica Borcio, the founders of the space, uh, last June, um, on the occasion of the 10th anniversary of the space, where we transformed the space into a guest house, into a trattoria for one month, and uh, um, with a whole set of activities. So Lungomare is located in Bolzano, Bozen, which is... Um, a, a small city of 105,000 inhabitants, very close to the Swiss, Swiss and Austrian border, just south of the Alps, and um, it is inhabited by a German-speaking minority and Italian-speaking group of people, and um, a very small linguistic minority of Ladins, but we're not going to further into this, which is a language with, which is... Um, comes from the retro Roman time, and uh, it's just in two valleys it is spoken, and even in these two valleys have different dialects, so it's a very, very specific thing. And uh, it used to belong to Austria until the First World War, and then became part, it has been annexed to Italy, in, uh, like after the war, it's a kind of an exchange of territories, and has been afterwards been Italianized, as we say, um, during the fascist period, and... Um, so um, what used to be a very like um, a territory which was based on on, on agriculture um, became also slightly industrialized through Italian companies from the north that were kind of um, asked to move north to Bolzano and build up in industry, like uh, one of the buildings that has also been used and for Manifesta 7, the Alumix and Aluminium Factory, which has been built in Bolzano. The whole industrial area has been built um, there in this period of, of Italianization of the, of the territory. Bolzano is a, is a city which is, there's some parts of South Tyrol, which is the entire region I mean, the entire province, um, Bolzano, is the capital of, uh, which are more German-speaking, Italian, uh, and others that are maybe a bit more Italian. I'd, I'd say that Bolzano, it's quite equal, but then still the division between the language groups is quite um, sharp. Also, I mean, it is also 
on an institutional level like this. So you either go to a German school or you go to an Italian school and you learn the other language. Also, cult also funding is divided. So there's a German cultural department, an Italian cultural department, and there is a mixed cultural department. And this is where you have to locate in your mind Lungomare. So Lungomare is a space that is trying to kind of overcome <coughs> this division of categories and, and, and rather kind of trying to to uh, face the contemporaneity by, by, by not creating any barriers, um, which are very often also kind of sustained artificially to kind of protect, the bina protect something rather than thinking forward. Um, so also the city itself is kind of divided. There is, um, I mean, not divided. I mean, I don't, it doesn't, shouldn't sound too extreme, but I mean, there is a, the old part of the, se of the, of the, the city which is more German speaking where you would have like, yeah, more the old German speaking families would have been mar mostly merchants. And then you have the workers quarters, which is at the other side of the river, which is where you find a lot also of rational architecture from like with a strong imprint from the fascist uh, time, which is, yeah, which is more than like the, yeah, the workers, um, the l maybe also less, people that had in the past less access to education and so forth. I mean, there is a gap also in terms of of, uh, um, of interest and accessibility to culture, I, I, would, uh, I would say. But maybe I shouldn't go much more into this. It's just to give you a bit of a picture. It is a city which is among the, in, in terms of quality of life, it has the, I think one of the highest in all over Italy. It's also a very expensive city. Uh, what I forgot to mention before, it, it has this autonomous status within Italy, which is just also Sicily and and, um, and the Aosta have this status. And it managed, like, after World War II to negotiate, which is called this, in German, it's the paket. It's like a, a package, <laughs> which uh, gives a lot of, I mean, it, it gives a lot of, um, of the taxes return into the region, which makes also the wealth um, of this region and which... I mean, for many people from other sides of it, parts of Italy, also kind of creates a certain <laughs> tension or jealousy, I'd say. And today, I mean, uh, today the landscape in terms of, of economy, I think it's divided between agriculture, a lot of tourism. It's a very touristy area because there's mountains. You can hike in the summer, you can ski in the winter, and so forth. And um, yeah, I think that is kind of the other two most important things. Um, then there is since 10 years in Bolzano University, which changed a lot also um, the demography of the city because there is all in a sudden a certain group of age which was absent for a long time because everybody would go either to Austria, very close by Innsbruck or Vienna to study or would go further south to Trento, Verona to study. So. I mean, there were a lot of people who were gone at least during the week and then maybe re would return home during the weekend. But um, there's a this, this from 18 to 27 would be a time group, uh, age group which would not be that present. And now this has changed because there's a university and there's a lot of people. It's a trilingual university, so it's German, Italian and English. So there's a lot of people coming. I mean, it's becoming more and more also vi like vivid on that that plane. And I mean, that maybe relates also back to Daniele, because you're in Bolzano since you studied in Bolzano. <laughs> so come to Bolzano, it's a wonderful place to be. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I went to Bolzano to study, as uh, Lisa said, and um, um, to, to study design. And so it's also interesting for the space, because we are not just an art space, but we started uh, with the aim of connecting um, the art practices, design practices, uh, architectural practices. So we tried to mix on different uh, kind of um, directions of creativity of, of projects. And um, we studied there, me and Angelica, which is not here today, but uh, she would like to. Um, <laughs> Um, and we found that after, after, the, after the, the university, we found that Lungomare, as a, um, because of the need to have a, 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 a to continue and, and the experimentation of uh, we, we had in the university, so it was a photo of sort of creating a platform 
where you can continue to um, to to uh, to invent projects and to realize projects. So we uh, just tried it and we we uh, we did it and finally, uh, at the beginning it was uh, quite f uh, design focused uh, the the space, and so the first uh, two exhibitions are quite in the design. Um, but more and more, we um, we, uh, we 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 reach to um, to um, to be really multidisciplinary. So we uh, we we um, we uh, work it with a lot of other um, kind of cultural productions together. And um, yeah, what we are going to do. Uh but not only no, also kind of going into field of so sociology and history, kind of trying to involve. I mean. So also yeah. the theoretical part is yeah. um, very often a part of the project. So if, 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 if uh, at the beginning it was a, a place for exhibition, then it, it uh, quite soon changed to a um, place for projects where uh, we started with a topic or with something, and then we invited designer or artists or architects and theoreticians so also to, um, to deepen in this uh, topic and then try to find out um, something new about it, or it, it not, not necessary is an exhibition, but maybe it's just a process that ends in in a research. So it's not uh, our, our aim is not just to produce something, but uh, to produce uh, um, critical um, um, thoughts about something. Um, what we do today is uh, to um, we want to um, present you some project, and the topic is a bit what we made around uh, participatory projects and uh, but what uh, um, also is very clear when we now show you this project that uh, each of them is uh, connected to uh, to the context which uh, Lisa described a bit um, because many questions that we uh, we, um, we, we uh, transformed in this project uh, were kept from the from the context where we live in and um, not just to talk about the, the context wh where we live in, but um, to came from local questions to bigger questions, which are also related to other places. So um, looking to your place, you, you, you find out something that you can really also mirror mm. to other societies or other places. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. I mean, this we're very grateful. I think also for these kind of invitations because they help you to take the time also actually to reflect your own practice, which you very often um, tend to to neglect. And I mean, we will go further on in this later on, but we kind of tried also to make a um, sort of a mapping um, of what we think kind of influence. I mean, influences the practices or the practice of Lungomare, and would also maybe try want to try later on to maybe also find a project either here from Bari or some one of the participants to kind of try to look it at it from this an angle to kind of understand what does it mean if you talk about context yeah. now which is uh, here there are some uh, keywords we have uh, we we, uh, we 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 define for our practices so we have requirements and sorry and methods exploring the ordinary current affairs principle and possibilities public sphere self theory context, wishes and truths, interventions and reality, what was and what was what will be. So it it's very open, of course, but it's also the the aim, aim of it. We we really Yeah but I think what is very important is always this kind of yeah starting from an urgency which is very close yeah. and related to you. But then also always also the wish to um, not just take apart your context but also kind of hoping to develop something which would also be daring and looking like into the future yeah. and maybe even be utopia no and and dreaming i think that's something important like always this kind of looking back into the present but also being propositive like being trying to activate something absolutely so uh, and also what we try uh, we would like to um, as Lisa told before we we have a lot of projects to show you if you want but it's uh, more interesting to uh, really um, if you have questions please um, interrupt it's uh, not a problem um, yeah these are the three main um, things we we find also in these projects we show you 
interaction between territory and artists and uh, the territory's field of research and workshop and production because uh, a very important po point is the production of projects for, for Lungomare. Which doesn't mean like projects, doesn't mean like um, not closed, but not closed, I mean not intended as something, as a closed thing, but like the processual or like, it's yeah. not so much about kind of creating, yeah, something that then, then has an end or is static. Also because maybe then it's, yeah, maybe I forgot to mention something before. I think for Lungomare, it was also founded because there, w there was a lack of a certain, a specific kind of space in, in the territory of Bolzano. So there's a museum for contemporary art, the museum, which is very important. There is a very active artist association, which is now in a transition of getting out of this image of um, art being painting and sculptures, but also going more into also maybe a, a material realm. And then there is the, the a Kunstverein called Arge Museum, which is very much also focused on, on, but mostly on kind of presenting arts more. So I think um, it was important to kind of also maybe fill in a gap that was filled a bit. And that is that to, the to be a place of, of, of production also in the sense of yeah, activating processes yeah. rather than saying like we commission a work um, which is then shipped away and whatever. I mean, not this kind of logic. It's quite vibra vibrating, I don't know why, but uh, this is the garden. Also. We have a garden. We are not in the center of the city. We are a bit uh, outside. And um, this is the garden. Then we have the inner space, which changed also in the time. And this, at the beginning, it was this whole space, which is more or less uh, 70 square meters, more or less. And, um, but then it became uh, half of a studio and half uh, the, the, um, the place for, for the projects. This is because of uh, um, economical reason. We wanted to... Uh, if you say your studio, maybe you should ah, yeah. explain what it means. Um, okay, that's also important that I am a designer and uh, me and Angelica, we are designer. We have a studio together and we do um, from communication design to product design and exhibition design. So this is completely a part of the Lungomare, even if uh, also uh, Lungomare is a very important thing for the studio because it's very inspiring. It's very opening your um, different fields where you can also then um, mm, try to uh, develop the projects uh, for the studio, so it's uh, it's quite separated, but it's also quite uh, interacting. And so you see here the studio when it's uh, just studio, and then uh, here during a during a round table. Can so there is also small. Huh? It's a bit irritating. So, vibra perché qua sopra. Vibra perché qua sopra. Perché l'immagine, l'immagine. Ah, proiettore, okay. And so there are also a small bar inside, which is not really a bar, but just a small place also to, to drink something because we are not in the, in the, in the center of the, sp of the city. So when we have a project, when we have some events, it's uh, also important for us to uh, make it possible to people to stay there a lot because we are very um, uh, looking for interaction, dialogue. And there is uh, an event in the garden. Just to present you the space. And here's some exhibition, please. So uh, um, the first project I want to show you is um, not really an interaction or, or not, not really participatory. But it's, uh, um, starting from what uh, Lisa said, uh, a very um, strong issue of this place where we, where we are is the tra tradition. There is a very uh, strong relation between tradition and um, and uh, no, uh, tradition is something that is really important for political regions, regions, for the economical region. So we try to for tourism, yeah. for tourism, and so there is really also images of the tourism that are not really true, but it's something that shows you tradition in a in a strange way. So we we wanted to uh, understand what is the tradition here and how to. Uh, make a continuity between tradition and uh, and uh, every day uh, and, and nowadays. Okay. So these are some. Uh, I will explain you just uh, quite uh, quick. There is this um, something you the wear. Apron. Hmm? Apron. Apron. Yeah. 
this blue apron, which were um, people that um, farmer that work, and uh, it has. A, it was very interesting to discover that it has a, uh, um, a lot of symbolic uh, meaning when you, um, in the way you you um, you wear it, you communicate if you are working, if you are, if it's a Sunday, if it's if you if you are uh, if you have finished the work, and and um, then there are. This hat, for example, hat, for example, is uh, when you when the string is uh, red, you are free. When it's green, you are uh, married. So there are a lot of small um, things we try to um, to uh, to understand, and then we made this exhibition, which presented um, some some of these elements, um, also reviewed. For example, these are. Uh, the spoon is also something which was very important. Uh, it, it is a region that was very poor, so um, there, there was just farmer, and uh, the farmer moved. The, the farmer who owned their their land were rich, and the other one had to move from one to another to have some work. And the the, the only thing they, they they kept with the was it was a spoon. And so Max Lamb, which is a designer, um, tried to uh, design a lot of spoon. Um, praying, uh, taking uh, taking inspiration of this uh, of this uh, tradition, and this is a bag um, from this uh, apron apron, which was folded and uh, and uh, put together with some buttons, and became um, uh, a bag f f for uh, for uh, for everyday life. So uh, something from the tradition were transformed in something something new. Um, another aspect we we um, we uh, touched in 2006 was uh, um, the idea of visions for the for this place. So we um, uh, we, um, we we uh, we organized a lot of um, meeting and roundtable where we invited politician, um, um, economic. Uh, People from from representing all the society, in uh, different uh, evenings, which has all a topic, and uh, we try to uh, understand how uh, how the young generation is imagining the future. So we have also a book here, and uh, we uh, made this um, um, with together with a local uh, editor, and uh, we we asked it hundreds more now. 70, I don't know how, how many they are, but uh, we asked uh, people to, to write uh, a vision for the, for the place and someone was uh, reacting with uh, some images and someone was reacting with, uh, uh, with texts. Um, just to have an example, this is for example an image of, uh, uh, these are all always images of um, the um, uh, way the ca cable cars, no, cable... Uh, cable car, yeah. No, it's the Limpianti di Fondi Salita, come si chiama? You know the ski, ski, ski lift. Ski lift, yeah. These are uh, always full of ski lift, and this uh, he, he imagined it without ski lift, for example. Or uh, maybe very interesting is also this. I can give you then it. Um, there are some mountains here, and he put it on them some ears because he or, or he opened some windows to the mountains symbolically, because he meant that uh, the place need a lot of uh, inputs from outside. Maybe you can, um, yeah. So these are the, the, the themes. We, we, um, we, um, we, we uh, the, the, the round table we had. So um, there was um, uh, something for Politica Giovanili. And this one. That becomes a bit complicated because uh, <laughs> political for youth, young youth, poli youth, youth political. Youth political. Yeah. Uh, so if, if there is space for rebellion and um, how many artificiality supports mount, uh, mountain supports, um, how big and how uh, heavy is is tradition, and uh, if it's uh, if it's if, if Bolzano and uh, this region is. Um, is an island of, uh, happiness, of happiness, yeah. and uh, I don't know if you knew, you know what it, Heimat uh, does mean. Heimat is a motherland. motherland belonging to a territory, 
uh, and it's uh, in a German language com um, um, concept, and we try to understand if it's uh, possible to uh, have a Heimat in, in the optic of com uh, living together. I wanted to know how did you get in contact with the people? I mean, you said that you were asking what was their vision of, I mean, just email or you were having meetings in this. No, we, we met them all. Personally. We, um, uh, first of all, we tried to uh, cover, um, sim yeah, to cover mo um, uh, as much as possible uh, the different uh, um, parts of society. So we had journalists, uh, economics, um, architects, and um, designer, and so really different kind of people. And we uh, we we, dis we 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 find we found them just talking to people and trying to understand who is representative or who can really or who wants and can give a uh, a vision for this uh, for this place. And um, so a critical vision or so it there was, was a good feedback right yeah yeah okay. there was a very very good feedback and um we were uh, quite near to put a second edition mm -hmm. but then there was not enough money and so we were not uh, able to do that mm -hmm. and here you see the discussions so and during the discussion the young generation uh, um, were invited to talk with the actually uh, actual politician, so with the older generation, and uh, it was very interesting because it was very an open dialogue, and uh, also the fact that uh, we invited uh, from the, the politician from different parts, so the the left, the, the right, and the German and the Italians, is something that is not that common or not was not that common in. In in uh, in Alto Adige. Can I ask you how the um, politicians uh, perceive what you what you do, your activity? If they are totally aware of uh, what are your aims, or if they uh, like uh, know it partially, and uh, what's you mean their feedback? Or regarding this? Yeah, generally, and also about the specific project. Yeah. So generally, we opened it in 2003, and after a year, the German um, minister of <laughs> okay, and uh, the German minister of culture went and uh, came to us and wanted to see what we were doing, and and then uh, the his reaction, her reaction was that um, she was she was wondering. She was wondering. It's not a machine, it's beef. Maybe it's important to say that, I mean, for those who don't speak Italian, that lungomare. Um, lungomare is an Italian. It's an Italian word which means, which is used for this. The, um, the land along, so along, along the, the river, along, 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 the, along, the, along the, the sea, along the sea, and I mean it was, I mean I was not involved in the process of selecting the name, but it was chosen for this kind of, <laughs> the name itself, seafront, sea front, exactly. It was chosen out of this idea of creating a space for projection, no? Be creating this space which is not there, creating a space that like gives you the possibility of, of thinking beyond. The, 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 the local German context, no? And minister got it completely because she she, she was wondering uh, if if she has to financiate something that has an Italian name. So uh, this was she was asking whether you couldn't problem. change the name into yeah. German, then it would be easier so for her, her to her give main funding. Problem with Lungomare, and then uh, yeah, we actually we are um, I think that we are perceived as a something that is there, mm -hmm. and that's. Uh, we are not that. Um, um, yeah, it's not. It's not a comfortable place because, of course, it create it poses questions and it creates a certain friction. Maybe also with what could be maybe the more mainstream mm. cultural discourse, which yeah, is, yeah, which is, which is taking place. And 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 I think they are all 
convinced that it is necessary to I mean I think they have enough capacities to kind of have this vision that it is necessary to have these kind of places and that they're important no for the for the lands for the cultural landscape of of a place but then again I mean yeah it's not representative enough to kind of give it too much attention which is also good mm -hmm. no because it, you can a bit act in the sh gray zone and and yeah. shades sometimes i think it's productive for for space not to be um on the stage you know yes yeah, too much on the stage because then there comes a whole other logic of having to um yeah fulfill a cult i mean a political ag political agenda um or like that you have oppose it more openly and i mean i think it is very clear where it is positioned the space also being a, a bilingual bilingual space that already is a very political statement um for the for each one talks in a language so if there is a conferences uh, if a conference or a uh, dialogue each one can choose his language. It could be German, um, uh, English, or, or Italian. So and that's not, not that's not that common. That's not that common. Um, yeah. Psst. And uh, for the public, uh, we have um, we changed quite a lot of our, pow our public during the day, during the years. At the beginning, there was a lot of curiosity because there was nothing in the city, um, just a museum and another association. So it was quite something new for the place where we were acting. And um, at the beginning, we also made a lot of events. For example, the cooking event you sh showed you before was it something from the beginning or uh, some music. And uh, But with the time it was something that really took too much energy from the from the from the programmation and so we we stopped a bit this uh, event um, um, logic and we uh, also w um, yeah we also um, changed a bit uh, the the topics and the the, the yeah the ways to approach projects so it was not so immediate, immediate, but it uh, was uh, asking more from from the public, and this was also something that stopped a bit, uh, or or um, mm, yeah, which changed the public during the during the years. I think it got, it got more complex, no, in yeah. in the sense that it was not not any longer this clearly detectable formats exhibition okay you go to an opening or we'll but you take and in and and in, in a kind of requested much more um engagement um uh, which which i guess i mean also because i mean talking also thinking about parallels between here bari and and, and bolzano i mean being at the margin somehow or outside of these so-called centers um uh I think, yeah, you you have to be very much aware of 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 of, of h how you communicate, and mediate these kind of formats much more than you have to be in London or in in or in Milan. I don't know. Um, and uh, I think, and then yeah, then it's a question well, of energies also, no, that you have <laughs> to because you are a small space run by two people, um, and there is no, I mean, there is no big infrastructure, um, and a lot of energy goes into actually realizing the projects and then you should have double the energy to actually <laughs> try to mediate them uh, all the time. If it's taken to the extreme, you could also just announce the project <laughs> and uh, make some picture and bring it to the internet and you are perceived from the, from the, from the centers or from the, from the art scene or from, from <laughs> as, a, uh, as, a, as an interesting place. But what really happens there it's something that uh, that remains between the two of us, or between the, the, the mm -hmm. so. Of, of course, it's a, a provocation, but it's also something that you have to deal with. That your public is very different than the than the um, the, the the public you find in other in the centers of of uh, cultural production or or, or some center that works as you do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking, while I was preparing for here, I was looking at this participation book um, Claire Bishop edited for the um, Whitechapel. Um, and I found three kind of keywords, which I think are also very, um, like, very much relating to Lungomare practice in her introduction to what, what, what actually um, 
participation can also be which is um um I think it's more I mean and, and I think it relates very much to Lungomara, it's like more this like tackling the social dimension of participation. Like mean I mean trying to think more about about um yeah, about establishing relationships and, and kind of between the experience of the people visiting a place and the people kind of trying to make a program of a place and, and the kind of treating treating the so-called public also as an active subject that is kind of, um, yeah, that there's a two-way relationship. I think that has become more and more important also for Lungomare. And then the question of, yeah, authorship or kind of uh, very much this idea of, of a collective, collaborative process, but not so much in the sense of exploitation, but more in a sense of, of, of yeah, of, of, of activation um, and, 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 yeah, and then the term community, which is a very contested one. Um, but I think, yeah, I think more from the perspective of, of, of collectively elaborating something and thus creating a, a sort of a community. Um, um, I think it maybe becomes clearer than if we talk about the two examples. Uh. Another project we made uh, during the manifesto, we talked before and uh, was this Place It, uh, which is a project uh, of uh, communication in the public space. And for this project we um, tried to um, question how, uh, w w what does it mean to intervene in, a, intervene in, a, in the public space with some graphics or some, some messages. And, um, <laughs> Madonna is being touched. <laughs> Can I ask a question before you? Yeah. Sì, certo. Why it's just a more practical question. Uh, I have two questions actually. Uh, one is about how you guys uh, found yourself. I mean, uh, where do you get funding? Do you uh, ah, found uh, yourself? Was a bit. I mean, <laughs> um, was it just a false friend? No, no, you have a, you already apply for different funding or you from the beginning you have a or anyway you struggle with it like a lot of uh, artists running space they do and uh, of course Bolzano it's not South Italy for sure it's a different economical situation and uh, you have since you start already you have a physical space and how much is important for you to uh, working on the territory you know that uh, um, so that's Bolzano maybe is not uh, a difficult situation like can be uh, Naples or can be uh, um, how your activity they engage with uh, the local and uh, that's what I would okay. some questions I think you mentioned a lot of uh, inter interesting you mean you the, can no, you know, the, the economic part you mean okay okay just take your time yeah through actually the, the projects now that um, we will we go further into. Yeah, okay. So just uh, the small... Uh, the founding, founding. Founding. Um, there was a... Um, during the Lungomare Gasthaus, which uh, Lisa will present later, there was a uh, Celine Condorelli also, and she um, perceived our project with an interesting definition of uh, radical um, radical hospitality and uh, radical hospitality is something that really is imp is, is the is, is i think is the main is the main um, uh, the main uh, sponsor of of the flungomare because it's just about engagement and there's a, a lot of uh, about uh, about how you how you find ways to uh, to to respond to different uh, needs? For example, uh, a place to stay. We uh, for for the for the gases, we asked a lot of people to uh, to give us a to 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 ho mm, host, uh, host host an artist for a day or for two days. So, and this is a lot of uh, this. Is I think this is the main part of uh, of the founding. But of course, of course, we have also founding. And it's uh, we have um, we we uh, we make um, application to the to the region, to the province, and to uh, to um, uh, um the foundation uh, yeah, and the com and the local yeah, municipality. I mean, there is institutionalized funding streams. 
Yeah. But the province where institutions, especially, I mean, like after 10 years of track record of programming, you apply every year with your program. F and, and I mean, there's this uh, almost secured part of the yearly budget, which is coming. Now there's also cuts, so they're cutting it for 5% every year but but that is kind of um there is a basis there which is m tiny so you can also say that we have a uh, uh, 30000 euro more or less for the from from the province and then we <laughs> we we try to have other funds but it's more or less 7000 euro so it's around the 35 37000 euro a year but you have also to include the the the, 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 the running costs running yeah. costs so telephone internet um also the rent and so but the all included yeah. so there's not uh, then uh, also we don't have someone that which is working there which is uh, which have a um, um, there's no uh, there's no staff member i mean there's project assistant for specific project but there is not there is nobody doing i mean administration is done no I mean, there's nobody external who does. Um, it's the, bi the biggest part is public, public and yeah. then there is, for example, partnerships with a very nice hotel in Bolzano that offers every year, I don't know, 10 to 15 nights there, which is just nice because you can host people in a nice yeah. place. I mean, these kind of things or mm -hmm. in-kind stuff, but yeah, but it's big. Okay, it's mostly <laughs> public. Okay, so this place it is a pro project about communication in the public space, and um, um, we are, were very, very interested in uh, this topic because we are also working in this uh, field a lot, and uh, so we were wondering uh, how it is when a designer have not just to design stuff but also to uh, define uh, contents, and to define contents related to a specific context where they put their communication. So uh, we invited four uh, designers, which are here. Alexander Egger, which is from Vienna. Luna Maurer and Ruhl Wouters, they are from uh, Holland, Netherlands. Netherlands. Manuel Rieder is German. Slaven Tartas is from Kazach Korczak. They are in London, I think. Yeah, oh. but they are originally... Originally they are from uh, Vilnius, no? Vilnius, no? I yeah. don't remember, East. but... Yeah. Okay. And... Um, um, we invited them not just to to come and make their project, but uh, uh, we f first we contact them and then we ask if they have interest for this, and then we we also um, came into the discussion and try to understand what what are the topics they wanted to uh, they are interested in, and then we uh, organized the uh, uh, sopralvogo uh, side, 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 side view side side visit. Side visit. Yeah. Side visit. And they came to uh, to Bolzano, and during this side visit, we also or, or, um, organized uh, different meetings with, uh, for example, we we had a meeting with uh, Mesner, Reinhold Mesner, with uh, someone of archaeological museum, someone of uh, of uh, research center, so a, a, a lot of people there. And uh, and during also this visit, we we tried to understand where the city could. Uh, Support, support some uh, communication um, um, messages, and so um, so we build up this. Uh, <laughs> it was very uh, difficult because uh, the op um, operating in a public space, you have really to also to uh, to um, to question um, if you can apply something on the on on the building or uh, talk with the municipality and and so we we work uh, um mounting them on our self and this is for example Alexander Eder Egger made this uh this installation which is uh trying to um define uh, uh, we um they and uh, the others and in these three languages and you can read it crossing how do you want just to make to to underline what does it mean uh, uh, to um, to consider uh, you the other? What yeah, and also I mean I think when you come there, also from outside, you know that you're coming to Italy, but then you hear a lot of German in the street, so you're kind of also confused by this this presence of very different um, 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 
cultural um, 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 impact and then there's a lot of this kind of negotiating the difference or not, no? like creating a we or kind of creating the difference. This was Manuel Reader, which just, uh, he made this uh, type with uh, ice cream, ba uh, ice cream uh, cups and we uh, realized this structure uh, for him and he uh, there's written uh, if would if I would I could have taken an image and blown it uh, and put a type but he, de he decided to put uh, type uh, on this place to put so he wanted to to put a big image or to but just to um, to, to play with form this is um, Kaze Korczak uh, I don't know if you know this uh, song from um, uh, if you say potato I say potato how do you how do you how do yeah yeah that's it and so she was rewriting this uh, song um, taking some words for example instead of tomato and potato autonomy and uh, the, the the translation in in Italian and uh, and this was uh, uh, yeah two strophes of this uh, of this uh, song put put it on a uh, um, um, shopping mall so also uh, dealing with I'm, uh, migrants and and this is uh, a bigger project they made uh, these sentences which talks to your daily life and they are a small uh, instruction to change your daily life um, mm -hmm. Issues, for example, um, don't look at the first first page of your, the newspaper. Where, where um, um, this is uh, where no dress as your neighbor, and there I don't know, you can read it, but it's uh, s um, kiss a bit slowly. So it was small instruction. Um, yeah, talk with a talk louder. Okay. Another project we uh, made quite a lot of time ago, it was 2004, uh, but I wanted to show you because of the participation, is uh, Artazione Uno. Uh, it's a bit strange of, um, because in this case we became um, ourselves the makers. Uh, we was part of, uh, uh, we called it Lugumare project, but it was just from the beginning. And so we were uh, asked to make an uh, intervention to a um, to a quarter in uh, in um, in, uh, in Bolzano, and uh, it is uh, uh, very south from from Bolzano, very from uh, away from the from the center, and um, it is a place where just they had the problem that uh, there is not really life there, so uh, they wanted to make an uh, an art experience to to improve improve the social life of this uh, this place so we uh, we were a, a group of six people and we uh, the first thing we we were wondering um, is, is the fact that you as as inter interventioner came to a place and make your project and and then go so th our first um, question was how we can act in a place where where um, where we we do not we do not know the people who is living there so we um, we um, we made this first project, which was uh, just um, a, a method to a way to to connect to the people which who was li was living there to make the first uh, connections meetings. Um, we designed this uh, sort of logo, which represents the streets of this um, of this quarter, and we made a blind date in the whole the city. Um, you have to consider which is a, it, it is a very small quarter and uh, nobody of the center knows about this place and no about no no from the center goes into the, this place and so we made this uh, blind date in the o in the whole city and we say that just uh, monday the the 8th uh, september at 19 uh, at, se at 7 7 o'clock pm we um end the place and uh, so um when uh, um, when the when the date came, we were uh, I don't know we prepared us of course we tried to make a lot of things, and then uh, we uh, organized uh, 15 bicycles, um, which uh, e um, we we bought some T-shirts and we made this logo on it, and uh, so we started from Lungomare, 
and we tried to make the longest way to 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 this uh, to this uh, quarter. And so, um, seeing that we were 50 bicycles, was also making some problems in the for the for the for the traffic. So he was really present in the city, and uh, so people followed us also to to understand what is happening. And um, we arrived to the place, and uh, there we <coughs> distributed these cards, which are grata invita, um, scratch and invite. So you instead of because I don't know in Italy scratch and win, scratch and win. I don't know how they call in English this scratch and win thing. Yeah, exactly. And so they and you the can uh, game was scratch and invite. Yeah, huh? and you could scratch one of these uh, six fields, no, no two, no three of these six fields, and uh, there was our pictures, and you can invite the three of us. So and um, it was the first um, um, first. Um, connection to the to the place and um, oops yeah and then we made uh, um, this meeting uh, we have also to admit it was just one because uh, the the association which was hosting us don't really uh, helped us to uh, to uh, communicate the project and to also to make it more uh, more uh, comfortable to invite someone to f for a dinner which you don't know and uh, this was one problem and the second problem was of course that we maybe we 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 asked it for too much maybe if we have asked for a coffee it would have been easier to to come to the play to do to this private sphere so um, this was a bit this problem but we made one dinner and so we um, during this dinner we uh, we talked a lot about the uh, about the place and how about, the, about the, the, the personal history of these people and uh, we record some stuff and then we uh, re um, we work it on this um, uh, on this um, uh, material we collect it and then we made a second um, a second blind date which was not blind anymore because the people know, knew about this and also after the first uh, after the first um, action um the newspaper talked also about this so it was very common um so we took something we uh, heard about uh, we we take from the from a sentence from the from this meeting and then we invited people to a big uh, castagnata a big chestnut. Uh, eating chestnut, chestnut eating feast. in the quarter yeah uh, so the first, um, the first, um, the first uh, action of uh, this blind date was um, mm, a surprise element, and uh, and we were asking something from the people to invite us, and the second was to give something back. So, and then we made this um, uh, 80 meters uh, long uh, table, and um, on the um, tablecloth. Table cloth. Table cloth. Um, on the table cloth, we printed uh, different. Um, the original idea was to print all the stuffs we were collecting. Seeing that we made just one dinner, uh, we, um, we 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 uh, of course we 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 uh, printed also there uh, what 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 came out on from this dinner, but also s a lot of questions and see them in the in the yellow places there. And it was this big chestnut eating. What was very interesting was that um, um, a lot of people that have never seen this place came from the city center to uh, to join us because they were curious about what is happening in this in this uh, in this um, in this quarter. So it was a big meeting, and um, it could have been a very good starting point to start the project. But then uh, there was no funding anymore, and so it was finished. And it's also but also maybe I mean that also relates back to your question of the politicians. I guess no, you ha you had been com um, you had been commissioned because I was not at the time I was not involved yet. But you had been commissioned with this idea that art. I mean that these people who are doing strange thing between art and design come and they realize a project and then you can touch a sculpture or whatever. No, that has been produced by the community together, something like this. But since you activated such a complex pro process which kind of would have taken a long time. Yeah. They were also kind of a bit suspicious, I guess. No, what, 
what was actually happening there. It was not tangible for them what you were doing, I guess. Yeah, there were, yeah there w it was not uh, tangible enough. Even if uh, also the association there was very, um, uh, very happy of the result because it, it was very a uh, big uh, event for this uh, for this place. And um, I think also it, if you if you talk about participation, this is uh, the the point where um, um, the, the 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 project cannot stop. Because otherwise you, you, you play with desire of people, you play with projection, you play with dreams, and then you, play the, you, you, you participate with people and they, you, you, so you, you, you build up something and then you, ha you don't have the, the possibility to, to go on with it. And that's it's really uh, very dangerous, I think, to, to, to play with dreams of people and then... It's so counterproductive, no? I guess so it's, mm? it, it's counterproductive because yeah, yeah. it creates them in you. It takes some time to have people open themselves and then they c shut the doors even so more than they were. So it's a really... Uh, a lot of projects make this <coughs> kind of mistake. and uh, But even uh, if of this uh, of this uh, yeah even if it's if it stopped here w it was interesting that uh, people came then to lungomare to see our projects and uh, they would have never come to lungomare to see the projects we were doing there so there was the um, they they they, they f the people was who was living there were also feeling this opening and this um, trying to make bridge between become between our space and and uh, and this this place so you see the question. A lot of bullshit, but also some nice incentives. So and then, uh, um, curious one, no? So another um, project is um, Urban Observatory, Observatory Urbano. Um, this is a long-term project. Um, um, we started in 2005. And it is a, um, it is a, it's a, it is the aim to create a tool to read the, the the context of a city and to to understand the dynamics of cities and uh, and um, um, it was something what we wanted to create was uh, to create a tool which can help also um, urban developer to consider the uh, not um, uh, not uh, yeah not translating in data uh, emotional part of the city wh which are elements you cannot consider with uh, the tools of the urban um, urban um, planning so we um, we for the first step we invited um, uh, different uh, groups of architects and artists to make intervention in the, in the city. Um, one was uh, Peanuts architect, uh, which was from which are from uh, from uh, Berlin, and they um, wanted to make a Bolzan comic, so a, a comic from the from the city of Bolzano, and they were um, traveling around the city and collecting history of the city and uh, drawing them down. So the, 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 the final aim was to create a sort of uh, book of uh, cities taken from the do this, um, do this, this, um, um, these tours. And then there was uh, also a lot of informal um, occupying to the city center so we uh, make an email to all um, our contacts and we ask it to take some piece of furniture and uh, bring it to a place and just take um, take a bit time in the in the public space um, s before we, we was we were uh, she asked us for a public space I think this is a, a good uh, meaning of public space something a place where you can be and where you can stay and where you have to also which you have also to use and uh, so we invited people to come to just to take his feature piece of furniture bring it there uh, having a dinner there or uh, just um, having a time there and then remove it and go back so this was an informal way to um, use public space then we were also organizing uh, um, football matches which uh, could be maybe um, mm, sound a bit strange because 
in a, in each city you find people playing football on the on the on the squares. But in Bolzano, you you don't find it because it's not uh, allowed to play football in the squares, and um, so we wanted to. Um, uh, so we made uh, this uh, this football um, champions. How do you say? Un torneo. Torneo. Tournament. Yeah. Tournament. Um, uh, um, asking different associations which which are working on in the city to um, build up some uh, some squadre a team team and then we made this uh, tournier and so we uh, um, occupied this in another uh, in another way the the public space uh, this is the Bolson comics who was part of the of the team the teams. The curator yeah. or the. Ah, so there was uh, an association of uh, um, migrants, uh, uh, different of migrants. So one of Jembe uh, um, mm. something, and another uh, of Donne uh, Nisa, which is an association which works on f on uh, female thematic on on the on the city then there was also association like um ah i don't remember see but this is completely taken from everywhere um yeah emma at zero worked with um uh, the idea of using public space and you have a small video No, no, chat. No, uh, there is no sound here. No, no, no. no. Dopo. They uh, made pictures uh, around the city, and then we they cut it out people moving in the public sp si uh, space. Then they tried to um, um, understand if uh, if people uh, can uh, use the space in a proper or improper way. So this was just a rendering w which they made. Okay, let's just... Then in, um, two years later, we continued with the project and we tried to uh, bring it to, the, um, to, another, to other contexts. So we made exploration in, uh, in Venice and in, uh, in other places. For example, this is a project we made together with an artist. Um, Benjamin Tomasi, and um, he went to this place where um, in in Naples, where uh, people are used to go for having sex or love, and um, they wanted to um, um, to uh, they asked the people to make a to 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 sing a piece of uh, of a love song, and so they um, they were. Um, they were asking people w which was there by car to uh, uh, to sing something for their love and so um, it came out a uh, sort of cacophonia this is a uh, this is also interesting because there um, this public space is a place that have a specific function becomes a, a specific function and uh, seeing this function there was also uh, developing some um, improvised uh, uh, worker places I say um, so there was someone was who was uh, um, selling um, newspapers to cover the the windows 
someone who was uh, selling a condom and so there was a really a, a system around a public space and the cacophonia I would just uh, Sì, sì, sì. Sta andando? Ah, c'è il cavo. I'm confused and confused. So this is the the voice of love in uh, <laughs> Naples. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. After, yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, this is the publication we made of um, Observatorio Urbano 2. And... The Observatorio, is that how you pronounce okay, it? Yeah, Observatorio Urbano. Yeah, um, you sort of set it up as a tool to pass over to like, um, like urban planners or developers. Is there ever a case where something has come of that? Like, would you then say after a project, if you found something particularly interesting about an area, would you then actually meet with like the local council or the local planning department and? Eh? Um, there is a, there's one later uh, I show okay, you yeah. but um, we, we uh, the, the aim was not to make a tool uh, mm, a, a, a formal tool but to make an un informal um, reading of the city so you in, the, in, the, in the book you you, uh, you find the book was one of these instruments which mm. collected all this uh, improper or yeah Uncon, uh, non, 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 um, conventional. non conventional uh, view on the city, and maybe okay. I, I show you this because mm. this is um, this is um, uh, an observation we made uh, during uh, um, during the period near to uh, Christmas. Um, I don't it's very bad, but here you see um, this uh, square. You see the square. Mm. There's a roundabout. You see it also here. Mm. There's a roundabout, and uh, this roundabout is in a very crucial part of the city. So um, you see this monument, which is the monument of the fascists, uh, which uh, has a, an inscription: "We broke uh, you, the cultural and this and the and the and free and free no no." 
Cultura è. I don't remember, but anyway, it's a very strong uh, sentence from the fascist to the city. Um, and then on the opposite si si part, it's very bad the quality, but um, you see the old city center of Bolzano, which is uh, characterized by uh, um, Austrian uh, architecture. And so uh, it is a very important, it is very cool, um, central uh, place in the, in the city. And uh, so we... Um we made an observation and then I come why, why we, we came to it. But we, uh, we, we, we followed when uh, they, they built this, uh, this new kind of square to the roundabout in, in Bolzano. And this was the uh, opening from the, from the governance. Then here you see these uh, nice flowers of uh, stones and, uh, and metal, which were crashed down from the people, so people was reacting to this, uh, this uh, sculpture. Maybe so it's also important to say that this, this monument, which is really like a landmark for this fascist um, um, history of the city, there was an attempt, because this was after the referendum, no? Yeah. There was I because it's a monument to, to victory, and there was the city of Bolzano wanted to rename it into Monument of Freedom. And then there was um, the right-wing Italian-speaking party of Bolzano made a referendum asking the population whether they wanted this change to happen. And they voted, I mean, they managed to activate the whole right-wing Italian community of Bolzano and they managed to stop this um, attempt to change it into a monument of freedom, which is, would have been like a sign of reconciliation and, and like, like let's put a stone on, on certain issues. So, I mean, it's a very contested, um, still remains a very contested um, place. And so we, um, yeah, then uh, um, in, uh, during, um, during a period near to uh, an autumn, uh, we um, r um, realized that they were, um, they installed this, uh, this um, sculpture in the middle of the square. And this sculpture is from Thun. I don't know if you know. There are these are small angels uh, with the open mound, and uh, uh, and it's, it's something a like company. Swarovski, I mean more or less. You know, you, you buy this uh, all s horrible, <laughs> <laughs> but they are very, uh, they very, they they sell them very good. And uh, this uh, company comes from uh, Bolzano, even if they don't produce in Bolzano, but they s they say that it's something from Bolzano. And um, they um, they decorate whole the whole city with their angels during the Christmas time. Um, well, and this is even the family, no? I mean, this, and is, this is the, the Jesus Sacra Familia. Yeah. And so they installed it there, and um, then uh, uh, so we we uh, it was quite strange for us to have this uh, uh, very um, uh, Publicitario, questo. This, uh, yeah, well this. It was, I mean, it's something that is taking place in a public space, but it's cl it's almost like as if it was hidden marketing or promotion for a company. Yeah. No, I mean, it's not just a, it's not just a sculpture, but it's also very obvious as if like the pr pr even more privatization of a public space. No, somehow through. And uh, we know priva privatization of public space, but this is a very really strange place to be privatized. So. Um, we were just observing and we made some pictures then and then uh, we, we observed also that people were stopping there and making pictures to this uh, together with this family and uh, and then uh, once we um, we uh, then we, we there was a in, uh, uh, in, the, in the newspaper we found a piece uh, which was saying that they turned it the the sculpture to the monument. So instead of looking to the city with this open mount, they were uh, um, with the open mount and adoring in a way the monument. So it was complete in a, a changing of uh, perspective and a changing of meaning. And um, and uh, then uh, there was another time we um, this is also a, a, um, a picture we took from the newspaper. Uh, someone put the uh, uh, the sign of communism there. Instead, uh, so it's also um, a play, um, a sign of uh, yeah. against against uh, against this capitalism. We, we 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 say we are communists. Please put this away. And then, um, so it, it, it were it, it becomes a very interesting platform to uh, f for for the for the 
uh, citizen to ex ex uh, to to say something, and um, then I was ca as was uh, was going home at night, and I uh, was uh, seeing two people. It was uh, snowy, and uh, two people w went to the to the to the mo to this uh, to this uh, sculpture, and I was uh, ah, okay. They will make a picture, so document it, but then they threw it down. <laughs> so there was really a reaction to this. Um, and to this um to this sculpture and uh, then seeing this all this reaction they put it away and they brought it brought it where the flowers were so it's, <laughs> it's some it's a place where you cannot do a lot because it in it the park behind yeah. the thing no um so um this was a uh, an observation and we um uh, made an, um, a letter we 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 compiled a we write we wrote a letter to the municipality uh, asking that this place, this roundabout, um, should be should be um, should, uh, yeah, should should be made become accessible, no? Should become a place of uh, of um, of expression, so that people can say something. And so we made this absurd project because in a roundabout you cannot make this zebra uh, because it's uh, it, it, it doesn't work. But it was a more provocation, and so we wrote it. We had also the from the municipality. We don't had uh, uh, an answer, but it was uh, a way also to, uh, to, to a, a statement to say, this is a place um, which could be very interesting to do something, but then also we, we, we don't have um, the, uh, we, we don't made the pr uh, uh, a real proposal for it, but it just to, to sign it as an interesting place. So this is also Observatory Urban. And uh, yeah, here's it. And hmm? so it remained like, like a proposal. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. There, was no, I mean there is no answer. It was, you no, know, it was with a lot of humor, but it was this idea, okay, if this is a place of that attracts so much interest, then it should be made accessible, right? So the suggestion to make it accessible, but there was no, I mean, it stays, it is a roundabout full stop. And they never placed again the angels uh, <laughs> or any kind of <laughs> now we would like to have um, we we, um, we expected uh, an answer but uh, because I think if you make a um, um, a question to the municipality you have to as have an answer but then uh, we have not and uh, it remained open this question so it's a bit a pity because we uh, it is a I mean, it could have been a nice opportunity. I mean, I think no, there was the, it, the, yeah. the, the, um, an opportunity to kind of raise the issue of what, th I mean, w w who <laughs> owns this public space? I mean, if there is such an interest by the public of a place, I mean, and this is just like a placeholder then for, for another place. Like, what could be the dialogue be with the citizenship, no? the citizens and, and, and the municipality? But it was not, I think it was archived as a gimmicky thing and no. Not to be taken too seriously. And uh, another thing we made uh, two years later was uh, 747. We were invited from uh, Villa Romana, which is, uh, you know, which is in Florence, and it's a residency place uh, um, paid from uh, Deutsche Bank, so it's very German um, uh, for German artists, but we they made also an exhibition quite open and uh, we were invited to uh, to react to this uh, topic of uh, governance of the city because uh, Florence is a city which is very tourist and a lot of tourists go goes there and uh, the municipality uh, tried to uh, in a way create an open um, a open air museum so all all what happens in this uh, in this city is uh, a regulament no, is a s has a has a regulation, and um, I'm very sorry for my bad English. I hope you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> if you don't, please uh, mention. Um, and so we were uh, also here. We were um, uh, um, trying to understanding what we can do with this topic. We are not from Florence, and so we were just trying to understand the parallels between uh, Florence and Bolzano, for example, because Bolzano is also a city where a lot of tourism is. And so we um, we try to make a, um, we try to uh, invent a format which can talk uh, which can uh, um, yeah treat the this this topic of 
governance, municipality, tourism, uh, and uh, also the rules of the city. So we defined seven rules. Uh, um, so the, the, the major, uh, the, in the, uh, the city, the, the inhabitant, then uh, the, um, the, um, the policeman, the mig migrant, the... Uh, I will... Uh, yes. I don't me record tutti. Anyway, and we um, made, the vi made, a, made an, um, a performance, sort of, uh, in which we invited seven people to consider um, a city with the characteristic of uh, Florence, but without saying it is Florence, and, um, and trying to make a sort of um, uh, meeting of the municipality. Sì, una, una, una tavola rotonda. Yeah. Sì. And so we, um, and uh, each, uh, each seven minutes, uh, each one, um, the, the, the discussion stops, and each one takes the place of the, the, of the other. So um, I'll show you, it's in Italian, I'm very sorry. But it's very easy to understand. Ah, this is in German, sorry. Una città, uh, a city without name. So here, this is the... These are the seven rules. Rules, yeah. Seven rules and seven uh, people. Buonasera, io come sindaco di questa città. Finalmente qualcuno che si occupa anche di noi abitanti. No, in commercio. This was when each of them was the major. So we started. The major started the, the discussion with a statement, I want this, 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 this for my city. And then the, the, st the discussion started. And so here now there's just a trailer, so. Io sono contento di questi provvedimenti, anche perché anche con i vigili non abbiamo un rapporto molto facile. Seven changes of position. So they get up and then... And on the card you have the position. So the major, the policeman. Vi ringrazio di essere intervenuti. Um, ho, mi sono analizzato i dati relativi ai flussi turistici degli ultimi anni e ritengo che sia necessario, necessario una svolta, una svolta radicale. This is just a trailer, so we just try to uh, show how it works. But uh, each uh, position is seven minutes long, and you can follow the discussion. Buonasera. Il regolamento della della civile convivenza in città che voglio presentare alla giunta comunale affinché diventi esecutivo al più presto contiene poche indicazioni e iniziative molto chiare. The question is, who are the inhabitants of a city? Lei ha fatto riferimento varie volte, come ha detto qua il signore, eh, alla parola autoctoni. Questo mi pare che eh, fanno molta differenza le persone che sono nate qua e quelle che non sono nate qua. Noi, i commercianti, abbiamo bisogno anche di quelli che autoctoni non sono. Eh? No, non precisamente dei turisti, ma dei Perché non ho detto che li vogliamo, abbiamo detto che li vogliamo un po' più corti, perché questa è una città porta articolare. 
possiamo permetterci di dire li vogliamo un po' più selezionati integra integrati un po' meglio ma chi decide di come? come? chi decide di che come? Livello... si va nel controllo, nel controllo dell'immigrazione credo che quello eh, sia non possiamo fare il vale chi, chiunque, chiunque eh, debba un certo Io. tipo di casino un certo tipo di artista da strada certo, un certo, certo, certo. Casa per... certo che sia possibilmente vicino alla cultura rinascimentale di questa città lo straniero anche. Eh? Ok. Eh. So what was really interesting, they are not from the municipality, they are not uh, uh, in the position they are playing in, but what was, uh, what was very interesting that all, um, all, all, um, all, all position as major was very interesting because uh, they started with very good ideas and The, the, then there was one from Lega Nord, which is, was the only politician that w was there, so it was more uh, against uh, against uh, migrants. Then there was one uh, uh, very um, which has a, a shop in the city, so he was very uh, he for he is the very important the economical part. And there was one uh, uh, from an association of uh, of Don Inisa, which is this association which deals with with uh, topics of uh, of women, and so. Um, but what was very interesting of this work uh, is that um, even if uh, the 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 main open-minded, which uh, tried to make the major, uh, when uh, the the question came, he becomes quite. Uh, um, He, he felt the, the necessity of rules and of uh, quite rigid rules. So it was very interesting to 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 um, and it's also interesting to the to the answer we gave to this uh, to this project in in uh, in Florence, because the question of the governance is not just criticizing it, but also trying to understand how we could make it without a governance. A city must be ha must have a governance, and so. Um, with this uh, performance playing of this video, it's very interesting how um, how the dynamics came to this uh, to the definition of a <laughs> governance. So um, so so the um, now now the major says now we we, we, we need to have uh, um, um, we need to have uh, citizen that knows our language. We need to have citizen that. Uh, Uh, know our culture. We need to have uh, blah blah blah. And so the other was criticizing. Yeah, but what? what how? How do you want? Uh, um, we cannot uh, shape the inhabitant of a, of a city. And then he reacts. Yes, but he have to be a part of the Renaissance image of the city. And uh, she was uh, answering. How can you make a, peop uh, a, um, a human being make part of an image of a renaissance? So it was very interesting, this uh, dynamic of the yeah, video. No, maybe yeah, yeah, no, because they were saying, like, there was one, this one woman who was obviously not a local, was saying, like, yeah, but we should also consider non-locals. And he said, like, ah, you mean the tourists? And I was like, no, 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 actually, I'm not meaning the tourists, but I mean, like, maybe immigrants. And I was like, ah, no, 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 that's not something we should consider. <laughs> Should we have a huh? Now we can go on. Yeah. Anyway, this Yeah. This was the our contribution. And also here the, the there's not a really uh, clear instrument. But it's uh, a key of uh, of reading the dynamics of uh, of a system like a city. So this was uh, a bit the uh, aim of. Uh Oops, ecco qua. Facciamo più corto. Ah, ok, una pausa, cazzo. Yeah. Shall we? What's the? Okay. Shall we have a 10 minute break and then But I don't know, you, you want to have some questions or Oh, you want to take them to the break and discuss them later.